Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm Hersey. Welcome to the Sportster Project YouTube channel. Just out here in my garage, uh, having a cigar, drinking a cold beer, uh, just kind of chilling out after work. Um, in this video, I just want to talk about one of the projects that I just finished up, this 1988 Harley-Davidson 1200 Sportster. Um, I acquired this from a SportsterProject.com reader. He reached out to me, uh, well, about the beginning of the year, um, sometime January, February. Um, said he had this motorcycle, hadn't, uh, hadn't ran since 2006. Um, he was planning on uh, junking it, just taking it to the junkyard. He kind of wanted it out of his garage. Uh, so he asked, him, he asked me if it'd be something I'd be interested in or if, uh, you know, if it, it'd be a project I'd be willing to take on. Uh, and, and I said, sure. You know, I didn't have anything else on the lift at the time. Um, I was kind of looking for my next project anyway, so it was a, a good opportunity. I picked it up. Uh, from his place in Annapolis, Maryland, um, about mid-April. Uh, got it home, cleaned it off. It had, you know, 15 years of just crust and rust and dirt and leaves and just kind of filth on it. Um, got it all cleaned up. Uh, was really kind of hoping for the best that it, the motor would actually turn. Um, it didn't. Um, the rear piston was actually uh, rusted into the rear cylinder. Um, so, you know, I started just kind of tearing it up and figuring out what it would take to get it running. Um, when I got into the cam chest and the primary, everything looked good there. The transmission looked fine. You know, everything needed a little bit of cleaned up, being cleaned up, right? It had, uh, you know, 15 year old, 20 year old, whatever oil uh, that had just been kind of sitting in it. Um, got it all cleaned up, uh, got the uh, piston out of the rear cylinder and um, everything on the bottom end was you know uh, seemed fine um, picked up a new well a new to me uh, set of cylinders and pistons um, they're from a 2000 uh, 1200 Sportster got them on eBay I got them for a fairly decent price so I was happy with that didn't spend a whole lot of money on it um, I ended up robbing the intake manifold and the carburetor off of my 1990 Sportster um, just to see if I could get it running um, I put a Dyna S ignition in it, uh, which I, I actually already had um, that I was going to use for another project, but it went in, in this one. Uh, so I've got a few things I've got to get to get some of the other projects off the, but that's another video. Um, put the Dyna S ignition in it, had these set of pipes that I got, uh, again, for another project, but I didn't end up, I didn't end up using them. Um, so they went on there and... I don't know, uh, a couple months ago or so, we uh, we got it to start. It started right up and ran. I put a healthy dose of uh, starter fluid in there, um, hit the button a couple of times, and, uh, and she went. Um, so then I took some time uh, to invest some other money and, um, and time into to getting it uh, to where it is today. Um, there was this uh, crusty chrome cover on the oil tank. I pulled it off, and uh, underneath it was this uh, hand-painted pinstriped Aerosmith logo. Uh, not something that I would do, not something I'm really into, uh, but um, you gotta think this thing has been on there since you know probably the early 90s, and I thought, well, I, I gotta save that. Um, so both of the mounts for the battery tray on back of the oil tank were broken. Um, I welded them back on. Um, got the oil tank uh, cleaned up, um, new oil lines, battery, new ba the battery tray, all of that is like it's supposed to be now. Um, new mounts, um, the isolation mounts on the oil uh, bag, and um, all that's good to go. Um, it, I put new front and rear, or hey, rear and front wheels on it. Um, new, they were in a box of parts that I had bought for a, a several projects ago. Um, had this fat boy 16 inch rear wheel, this solid wheel. Um, took a little bit of uh, finagling to get it spaced right, but I was able to get it spaced out correctly. Uh, put on a chain drive instead of the belt drive, just because chain drives are cooler, in my opinion. Um, put the 21 inch uh, spoke front wheel on the front and then new Shinko tires on uh, both uh, rear and the front. Both calipers got rebuilt. Um, they were actually in surprisingly good shape. A uh, little bit crusty, but they cleaned up fine, and then I rebuilt them. Um, the pistons in both of them were actually fine. They just needed new uh, new seals and dust covers. 
um, new pads. Um, I didn't have a front master cylinder, so I'm actually using one uh, from a Honda Shadow. Um, so that's the, the front master cylinder here, new brake line, um, new old stock uh, uh, throttle cable, stock length with, with how it's set up. Um, it had this Maltese cross cut in the uh, top motor mount. Um, so I put this Maltese cross velocity stack, it's just an aftermarket velocity stack um, on there. Looks, looks pretty sick. Uh, you know, not, it's not for performance, it's just to make it work. Um, but it's, it's, it looks pretty cool. Um, other than that, I made this little dash up here to hold my key switch. The key switch has a, um, is a three position, so it's on and then start. So it, it starts from the key switch, no kill switch. I did wire up a uh, oil pressure light and a neutral light. It didn't have those on it before. Um, well, it did, but it didn't in the state that I had it. Uh, or that I received it. So I, uh, I wired those up and put them right here. Um, I'm a oil pressure light fan. I mean, it's the first indication that something's gonna go uh, bad really fast. Um, it had uh, six inch over front tubes on it. Um, you know, with this uh, Swedish style frame, um, you know, Swedish style, St. Louis style, you know, whatever, you, however you wanna call that. Um, this kind of stretched up, but keeping uh, kind of the same geometry, so the bike sits as it does stock. Um, the tubes were six over, but they had some extra spacers in them. They were in bad, bad shape. They were rusted and, and really pitted around where the seals are in the lowers. Um, so pulled it apart, cleaned the lowers up, got a new tubes, uh, some eight over tubes from TC Bros Choppers. Um, that kit comes with the tubes, the dust, uh, the dust seal and, and the seal for the, the forks. Got them all put back together. Um, decided I'm not gonna run a fender on them right now, right now anyway. Um, maybe it'll get a fender later. Not gonna have one right now, looks really cool without it anyway. Uh, picked up this five and three quarter inch headlight from TC Bros, got a nice kind of old school look to it. Um, the tank, the tank that came with the bike was um, in, in, in terrible shape. It was, it had gasoline in it from probably 2006. Um, it was rusted out on the inside. It had a huge dent in the top of it that was filled with body filler. And then it was painted with a, um, like bed liner paint. Um, I did want to save the original tank. I tried to kind of clean it up. And uh, the more I got into it, the more I realized it, it just wasn't worth it. So um, I picked up this uh, Darrow Mustang tank from throttleaddiction.com. Um, good looking tank, I think looks looks really good on there. Uh, painted it uh, this neon green. Um, for some reason, this bike just said, "Hey, I want to be a bright color." And I looked at uh, doing like a neon blue or a neon green. I, I went with the neon green. Um, typically, I'm a paint it any color as long as it's black. Um, this is just rattle can paint, right? So I picked up at the auto parts store. Uh, I'm not a fan of like really nice paint jobs. I like looking at them, not really a fan of having them because I can screw up a really nice paint job uh, quicker than almost anybody. I've had some really nice paint jobs on motorcycles um, and I always end up dropping a tool on them, dropping a motorcycle, I don't know, kicking it, whatever. Just either I screw up the paint job that, with my ring, like hitting it like that, um, or I constantly worry about screw up the paint job. So. Most of the stuff that I have for my personal use, um, I just rattle can paint it, and, uh, and it's awesome. It lasts a while, it looks okay from 10 feet away, and it works for me, right? And it's not that big a deal if you have to sand it back down and repaint it. Um, other than that, that's about what I had to do to it a couple weeks ago. I took it on the first ride, uh, just kind of around the neighborhood. Um, it was a lot of fun to ride. I mean, a, a lot of fun to ride. I really enjoyed riding it. It's got a lot of pep in it. Um, it, it handles well, um, at least in the limited riding that I've done on it. Um, I get it uh, registered on August 10th, so then I'll be able to actually take it out on the highway. Um, so yeah, this is my 1988 Sportster, Swedish style. Um, can't call it a chopper because it's still got a suspension, um, but it's kind of badass, I think. Um, and I had a lot of fun putting it together, and I've had some fun riding it, and look forward to having some more fun riding it. I um, hope you like this video. 
Hope you like the bike. If you have any questions about the bike or any comments, please leave them um, in the comments below. Um, I'm headed out on vacation for about a week, so no videos or messing in the garage uh, for the next week or so. Uh, but I've got some ideas for some videos as soon as I get back. What well, I'm going to do a video on etching uh, a Maltese cross in the um, ignition cover uh, just to match the other ones that are on the bike. Um, and that'll come, uh, uh, it, it's going to be a couple weeks, but when I get back from vacation, I'm going to make that happen. Um, so please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know uh, when I drop the next video. Um, and until next time, uh, build, tinker, ride, ride safe out there, and take care.